All right, Andrew. Michigan Supreme Court Justice Richard Bernstein tried to go get his absentee ballot this week to vote. Didn't go very well. And now advocates for the blind are once again not pleased with Michigan Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson. Mara McDonald live tonight with more on the issue here. Mara. You know, Devin, the issue isn't really what happened to Justice Bernstein, but he sort of typifies the whole thing. And this is an issue that's been fought out in court since before May here in Michigan. The thing that I'm really hoping for is I really would like to have the opportunity to vote. So far, it's not going so well. Justice Bernstein, who is blind, went to Birmingham City Hall to fill out his absentee paperwork and get his ballot and have assistance voting. I think what I experienced was the fact that they didn't have any idea what the protocol was. To be clear, Bernstein has nothing bad to say about the workers here. He says they tried to help but had no direction on what to do. So he went away without a ballot or having voted. And right now going online to do it is not an option. You go online today and there is no choice to get an absentee ballot. If you're able-bodied, you have no problem at all. If you're disabled, if you're blind and you want to get an accessible ballot, the sign says come back later, but you can't read the sign. And that's a real problem. In the last 30 days, Turkish took the Michigan Secretary of State to federal court to force accessible access for the blind. And for the May election, an online option was available. I reached out to Benson's office. They say an online tool is coming, just unsure of when. Mara, if you can request a ballot today, Justice Bernstein should be able to request a ballot today. Any other blind member of the Michigan electorate should be able to request a ballot today. Back here live, to be clear, Turkish does not represent Bernstein, but what happened to Bernstein, really, you can tell, sticks in his craw. He's already been to federal court on this issue once this year. I asked him if he's willing to go back again. His answer was, it depends, but probably. We're live in Birmingham tonight. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4.